Sisters, how many of you are a hafidha of the Qur'an? Now the lights are bright so no one can really see and everyone is facing forward. So if you raise your hand, it's not showing off, okay? How many of you have memorized the entire Qur'an? No one look around, just look in the front. How many of you have memorized the entire Qur'an? Why? Why? Why have none of you memorized the Qur'an? Why have none of you memorized the Qur'an? How many sisters do we know of, mashaAllah? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and grant you success in this life as well as in the hereafter. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow you to teach thousands of sisters the Qur'an and to memorize the Qur'an and so they can be the leaders of the future with this Qur'an. Aisha radiallahu anha was a person who loved the Qur'an. She loved the Qur'an and she taught it to others. She taught it to women as well as to men. She taught the knowledge that she had in all the sciences that she was well versed in to women as well as to men. And today we see that our own mothers cannot teach us the Qur'an. Their own children. We also see that our own fathers don't teach us the Qur'an. But the point is, the mother is the education of the household. The mother holds the children in her hands. When my child or your child falls on the ground, the first person they run to is the mother. The mother breastfed the children. The mother handheld and fed the children. The mother took care of those children in times when the husband was not even around. I've been away from home for 26 days now. Who's looking after my children? The mother. The mother is the education of the household. And if you as mothers, as wives, as daughters are not going to take initiative in learning the Qur'an, then destruction is coming our way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants goodness from you. He loves each and every one of us. He wants goodness for us. He gives us escape routes all the time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you an escape route when you're going through difficult times. And then when you get out of that escape route, when you save yourself, He blesses you and provides for you from places that you can't even comprehend. He loves you. He wants goodness for you. Are you going to grab hold of it? Are you going to be the Aisha of your household?